Hey guys, uh, my question comes from the standpoint of someone who's probably in the younger demographic and the less experienced or the least experienced demographic in this group, but based on what everyone said when they did their why and when they got into real estate, I think all you guys have overcome the the reality that you are inexperienced and you are trying to prove yourself to other people when you're getting into JV agreements. So how did you set yourself apart when you don't necessarily have the experience or the big RSP accounts waiting for you? And then from your perspective now, what do you look for in those working partners that really sets them apart when they don't have that resume? I'll start because I'll go quick and maybe we'll go down the line. Uh, for me, it was I used other people's money, but it wasn't a joint venture partner uh, as much as it was my student loan, right? So I found <laughs> we talk a lot about other people's money with private lending and with finding an actual physical partner. Um, but sometimes it's more creative than that. It's how can you find other people's money in other places? And some of that might be a partner, but that might not be enough. You might need to have more money. Scott and I, just the two of us, we probably had 1500 bucks. Uh, when we were partnering up. So we both leveraged other sources we had and brought that into the partnership. So I would say that uh, every situation is different, but it's being finding a way to get that first, say it's the down payment, that first down payment. And then we had no money left over for renovations. So we had to do it ourselves and we had to leverage other people's money for the renovations. So I'd say it's being creative. Every situation is different, but it's finding that money somewhere. Yeah, really good question about starting out with joint ventures. Um, I would even, you know, I would take it back and say, what is the value that you bring to the table first is always the most important um, piece to start with a joint venture to understand what you're looking for in somebody else. And now as a working partner, I still am a working partner and I do a lot of joint ventures. Um, but what I bring to the table and what sets me apart was that I was a professional property manager for over four years. So I had, and I was running my own business as well. So I had business skills, I had management um, in my background as well. So I was looking at transferable skills that would really, um, it would really highlight what I could do for a joint venture. So there's a lot of new members that ask this question often. Mm -hmm. And I almost always suggest, why don't you try property management first? You have access to this community of real estate investors, even just looking around the room. Um, pick up a couple properties under management. You can charge a monthly fee for it. You're going to gain experience with filling the property. You might gain experience to go through an eviction process as well and just overall learning how to run from a property management perspective. And let's imagine you get two, three under your belt. Now that is on your joint venture resume, so to speak. And then you can um, go to partners at that time and say, I've already completed X, Y, and Z so that you have the experience instead of getting the experience with somebody else. Excellent point. I think that's a, a great, great point, a great way to start. Uh, and to add to that, you're also going to network with all of the investors and tenants in your community, buyers, sellers, and tenants. Mm -hmm. You're learning everybody. You're meeting everybody. You know the insider information, who's buying, who's selling, what neighborhoods are doing what, so that when you're going to go put your money up or your joint venture partner's money up, you already have experience in the neighborhood and you've built your network. Uh, your local network. So probably the most powerful way to start. If you have no money, no experience, find out what your value add is and consider becoming yeah. a property manager. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you don't realize the skills you have. If they're people skills, tech skills, uh, we run into bookkeepers all the time. I go, do you know how valuable you are to this community? Because people do not want to manage their own books. Mm -hmm. And you can do it right across the country. But we've had members in the past, young couples, and we coach them. If it's to, to do joint ventures, well, work on your value add. Build a website. Um, a lot of times it's just market yourself, market your area. If you've got a great area, market it. Let everybody know it's great and you can manage it. And then people will look at you seriously. And it's all right in the Keyspire community.